So today we're going to take a quick look at Cakewalk uh, Plugin Manager. Um, you'll find this in pretty much all versions of Sonar. Um, they've done this for many, many years. And it's an application designed to help you organize your plugins and have them the way you want them. Um, so to get to that, we'll go to Utilities and open up the Plugin Manager down the bottom here. And in a moment that will pop up and it'll show us everything we have installed in the way of plugins. So on the left here you have your plugin categories which will consist of VST, VST3, uh, VST instruments and a few others if you have those installed. So let's just take a look at VST effects. And once you click on that, that'll populate the registered plugins list. And this will tell you all of the plugins you have registered under the VST category. And this is this will change for say VST instruments and things like that. So here's all of my uh, VST instruments. So going back to the VST, and there it is populated again. Now, if you've just installed a new piece of software on your PC and it's not showing up here, uh, you can click on this scan VST plugins and it will rescan where you've selected it to save your plugins to. So you would hit that and it would repopulate. Okay, so moving on, we'll open up. So I've got my own layouts here already, which I've already sorted. So you've got a few things you can do here. Um, when you start with a new one, it'll be completely blank. And you can add new folders by clicking new folder. So there you go down there and you can rename it. And then you can go ahead and select anything you want in this, these lists and add it to the certain folders. So let's just say we'll add this one here. So we'll add plugin and there it is right there. Now, once it's in this list, you can still grab it and move it to anywhere you want. So we'll move it up to here, which is really out of place, but just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so when you open up your folders, it'll show you all of the plugins you have underneath those. So you'll see here that I've got a folder called Dynamics. And what I've done within that Dynamics is put subfolders to hold all of my compressors, all of my gates, DS's, limiters, and things like that. So you can organize within the folders. So we'll just open that up and it shows the plugins I have there. And that's pretty much the basics of it. Now, once you've done editing, you'll have to save um, what changes you've made. So all you need to do is come up here to save and it'll bring up this page. Now, I'm going to change the display name to layout2 and the file name to layout2 as well it's because I don't want to overwrite my previous um, layout. So we'll just click save and that's done. Okay, so now when we go to have a look at our effects, which are here, we can click on this plus. Now, insert audio effects. If you come across here and it's not the one you wanted, all you need to do is come up to plugin layouts and there's the one we just saved right there. So click on that and that'll give you the layout that you just saved. Now you can go in and access these and edit them at any time going back through the utilities plugin manager menu. Easy as that guys. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe. That would really help me out a great deal and it would uh, help me to create more content for you guys. Also leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like to see anything in particular. I'm always happy to uh, answer questions and get a few ideas for new videos to put out in the future. Again, thanks guys and I'll see you next time.